يا دكتورة دكتورة we can't hear you دكتورة there is no sound now or from the beginning from the beginning or now from the beginning دكتورة الله we thinking you didn't start why you didn't tell me before دكتورة now I we thought you I, are reading the slides. No, I was speaking. I did not see the mic because I cannot see the mic here. Sorry for that. Okay, no problem. If you have messaged me, even I can't see the messages. It's, there is some problem with the Zoom on my laptop. Okay, let's start it again. Uh, we'll discuss uh, the pediatric urolo urological problems and uh, the genitourinary anomalies. Can you see the box here or you can see the screen? Is there a box? Well, uh, you could say this before, as you say it at the last uh, slide. Okay, we'll discuss the pediatric urological review or the genitourinary anomalies. Uh, the common uh, genitourinary anomalies that we see uh, in um, general, they are because of unilateral or bilateral obstruction to the flow of the urine. And uh, usually the kids present with uh, hydronephrosis or a hydrouretor uh, or maybe uh, some um, uh, other obstruction problem, urinary retention or uh, urinary inability to pass urine. Unila unilateral uh, uh, problems can be uh, uretropelvic junction obstruction, which is the most common cause, or it could be a vesicoureteral reflux uh, and vesicoureteric junction obstruction. And uh, these can be unilateral, but the vesicoureteral problems can be bilateral too. You can have it in uh, both the kidneys. And there may be uh, bilateral postal, uh, posterior urethral valves valves that are present uh, just behind the urethra and they uh, don't let the urine to pass from the bladder into the urethra and in this way they are causing uh, obstruction to flow and all the uh, proximal system becomes dilated because of it now um, a two days old term boy found to have bilateral hydronephrosis on antenatal ultrasound what are the possible causes and how would you manage this case? Two days old boy and there are bilateral hydronephrosis. What could be the most uh, common causes? The common causes can be uh, pelvic ureteric junction obstruction uh, bilaterally, or it could be posterior urethral valves, the valves that are present behind the urethra, or it could be urethral aplasias, prone belly syndrome, or megacystic mega ureter. Now, uh, in this uh, infant, two days infant, the most likely cause is posterior urethral valves. They are more common and they are the cause of bilateral uh, uh, hydronephrosis. Uh, these are congenital membranes in the posterior urethra that impedes integrate flow of urine. And what is it causing? It causing pooling of the urine in the bladder. And then due, due to back pressure, the ureter is distended and the uh, your, uh, the uh, kidney itself is uh, become hydronephrosed or distended. Um, management is very important uh, to understand. If a boy is present to uh, presenting to you with bilateral uh, uh, with the antenatal history of bilateral hydronephrosis and now he presents to you with inability to pass urine or not passing urine for uh, 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 periurethrally, the first step of management is bladder drainage. And while you are draining the bladder, you have to make the patient's uh, medical condition stabilized. Give him um, uh, neonatal ICU support uh, for issues which may be with pulmonary hyperplasia and renal insufficiency. Or uh, we have to go for lab investigations like uh, serum electrolytes, serum creatinine, blood urea nitrogen. And usually it takes two days, uh, 48 hours uh, for uh, these uh, labs to become accurate, to become stable. And with that, we also start the prophylactic antibodies. Uh, now, once the patient is stable enough, 
uh, vitals are stable and the kid is passing urine per uh, catheter through the catheter per urethrally. Then we offer the definitive treatment. What is the def definitive treatment? Cystoscopy and valve ablation. We do cystoscopy per urethrally. We pass the cystoscope. In cystoscope is a camera device that we uh, pass, just like we were seeing in the TURP. We pass that device and we go inside and we ablate the, uh, we enter the um, bladder and then we ablate, uh, sorry, we reach the vesico uh, um, urethral junction and we ablate these uh, valves that are present there. This is the definitive treatment, but keep it in mind in a case presenting to you in the emergency with inability to pass urine, we don't go directly for the definitive treatment. First, we have to stabilize the patient. That is the first step of management. Then uh, once the patient is stabilized, uh, then we offer the patient uh, the uh, definitive treatment, which is cystoscopy and valve ablation. Now, the second case, a five days old boy with unilateral hydronephrosis on antenatal ultrasound uh, presented to you. What is the possible cause of his problem? What are the possible causes? And how would you approach this case? When we talk about unilateral causes, the most important cause that we think is uteropelvic uh, junction obstruction. There is an obstruction at the level of the uh, pal uh, renal pelvis and the ureter and uh, this uh, causes this is there is a narrowed pathway and that narrowing is causing back pressure causing the patient to develop hydronephrosis there may be other causes but this is the most common cause and uh, if we uh, um, do the scan and the uh, IVP and other investigations uh, that can become more clear to us uh, UPV junction obstruction is the most common cause of unilateral hydronephrosis in fetal kidney. It is more common in males uh, than the females, and it is more common in the left side uh, than the right because of the anatomical uh, change uh, differences between the left and the right side, as we discussed before, the uh, passing, uh, the passage of the vein and the passage of the art, uh, vessels on the left side is different um, than that of the right side. So that is the most common uh, cause of the development of the problem in the left side. Now, no need of urgent intervention unless the baby develops pyelonephrosis. If uh, there is pyelonephrosis, then we will pass an urgent nephrostomy tube. Otherwise, if the patient comes with this problem, we will do our workup and then we will pass the uh, nephrostomy tube or the stent if needed. Treatment is surgical. Uh, what we do in surgical treatment uh, we go for pyeloplasty. Uh, what we do in pyeloplasty? We take out the narrowed part and then we anastomose the proximal and the distal part together. And in this way, uh, we are actually uh, uh, reassembling the uh, uh, proximal and distal part together and uh, getting rid of the narrowed part which we have uh, removed. This is phyloplasty. This is the narrowed part at the junction of the uh, uh, pelvic urotaric junction. And we cut this lined area and then we anastomose uh, the proximal and the distal part together. And uh, the patient is, uh, is uh, clear of his uh, obstructive symptoms. A five days old girl found to be. Um, having bilateral hydronephrosis on, L, on uh, antenatal ultrasound. What are the possible causes and how would you approach this case? Now, uh, uh, this uh, case, uh, we said that bilateral hydronephrosis is because of uh, either with acute reflux or uh, it could be because of the posterior urethral valves. Now, if uh, the patient is having hydronephrosis on um, uh, just like here, bilateral hydronephrosis on an antenatal ultrasound, now she's presented with uh, urinary uh, failure to pass urine or the urinary, uh, what, what is that, um, anuria or uh, not passing urine. So the thing that comes more to our mind is a vesicourethral reflux. It could be a vesicourethral reflux. The vesico uh, posterior retinal valves, they are more common in males, but in females, uh, there are more chances of the uh, kids to have vesicourethral reflux. Now, what is this vesicourethral reflux? 
usually the normal physiological pathway of the urine is from the kidneys to the ureter to the bladder to the urethra and there is no reflux the urine normally cannot enter from the bladder into the urethra into the ureter why because of uh, because at the entry or the orifice of the um, uh, ureter into the bladder this uh, this is uh, there is uh, uh, tight musculature there and those uh, do not let the urine to go back uh, to go into the ureter again but in some cases of like a urethral reflux in some cases there is a reflux of uh, urine from the bladder into the ureters and this is called uh, this condition is called vesico urethral reflux uh, how to diagnose these cases if a child is presenting with uh, uh, this problem and uh, you are suspecting vesico urethral reflux we go for a test that is called vesico voiding cystourethrogram mm. We go for a test that is called voiding cystic urethrogram. What is what are we doing in this test? We put uh, some uh, dye in the bladder per urethrally. Through the urethra, we pass a catheter, and through the catheter, we add some dye. And then we do uh, repeated X rays. We see whether the dye is within the bladder or is it reflecting, uh, refluxing back into the ureter. And if it is going into the ureter, what is the extent it is reaching? Is it reaching till the uh, uh, level of the uh, uh, kidneys or is it uh, retaining itself till the level of the uh, ureter? Uh, we divide it into uh, five grades depending on it. If the reflux is uh, there, if there is no reflux means there is no VUR, but if there is some reflux and the reflux is till some part of the ureter, not the whole of the ureter, we call it grade one. If it is whole of the ureter, which is not dilated, but it is reaching till the kidney, till the renal pelvis, we call it grade two. If it is reaching till the renal pelvis and there is mild dilatation also, we call it grade three. If it is reaching till the renal pelvis with dilatation of the pelvic lesal system, mild to moderate dilatation of the pelvic lesal system, and with some tortuosity, you can see the ureter is a bit tortuous, it is not straight. Uh, so if it is moderate dilatation with some tortuosity of the ureter, we call it grade four. If there is gross dilatation and there is gross uh, uh, tortuosity of the uh, uh, renal pelvis and the ureter itself, we call it grade five. And uh, this is the worst form, grade five is the worst form. So uh, presentation of the patients with vesicourethral reflux, they are uh, usually, they have antenatal hydronephrosis or they may have UTI. There may be a positive family history of uh, the same condition. Uh, workup is by doing an ultrasound and voiding sister urethrogram. Uh, Treatment option depends on uh, patient's presentation. Uh, if the symptoms are mild, we can observe, or uh, if uh, we are suspecting UTI, we can offer uh, prophylactic antibiotics if there are uh, recurrent attacks of UTI. Uh, proper management, if you're suspecting it is um, uh, VC, it is a, uh, uh, sorry, uh, with acuretaric reflux and the grade is high, grade is uh, three, four or five, uh, we can offer surgical procedures. Uh, surgical procedures can be just, uh, uh, per urethral deflux injection, we just inject uh, in the vicinity of the entry of the ureter to make uh, the uh, area uh, a bit constricted, not letting the things to go back, reflux uh, action to stop. That is called a deflux injection so that the, the, the things are not uh, uh, reflexing back. Second option is uh, if the uh, condition is recurrent, causing the problem again and again, even the deflux injection is failed, we can offer ureteric reimplantation. We take out the ureter and we reimplant it in another part of the bladder. That is called ureter reimplantation. Okay. Uh, Another problem, uh, uh, congenital problem that we can see in pediatric age group are the. Um, openings of the uh, abnormal uh, location of the opening of the urethra or the urethral meatus. Um, it is a, a 
uh, there are two varieties of it, hypospadias and apispadias. Hypospadias are located um, in it, the urethral meatus is located on the dorsal aspect of the uh, uh, penis. In apispadias, uh, the condition is the same, but the external opening is on the ventral aspect. So ventral aspect, apispadias, and dorsal aspects are hypospadias. More common are the hypospadias, so we will discuss the hypospadias uh, here only. Now, what are the uh, common problems that we have here in a patient with hypospadias? Number one is there is abnormal ventral opening of the urethral meatus. It is more proximal. It is more proximal, uh, not in its normal location. And second, there is a ventral curvature of the body. The penis is itself, it's curved, and there is a, a curvature uh, of the uh, uh, penis in the ventral direction. And third, there is a dorsal hood, or the, there is a um, hood of his skin on the ventral aspect, uh, and on the, uh, sorry, um, uh, there is a hood of his skin on the ventral aspect and a deficient uh, dorsal foreskin. It is written wrong here. There is a dorsal, there is a ventral hood, and there is a deficient ventral foreskin. Okay. Oh, I'm missing it. Uh, sorry. Uh, there is a dorsal. Uh, the skin is deficient on the other side. Wherever is the ureter, the skin is deficient on the other side. I mean, I'm confusing epispedias with the hypospedias. Just keep it in mind. Uh, the place where the urethra is opening, the opposite side skin will be more in amount. And the skin on, the, on that side will be deficient. So in a hypospedias, we have ventral opening and we have a dorsal hood with it. Now, uh, the types uh, of these are the... Um, according to the location of the urethral meatus. It could be anywhere from its normal position till proximal part. Usually we have three varieties. The three most common varieties are the glandular varieties. The glandular variety is very, uh, is the most distal one, and it is very close to the normal location, very near to the glans penis. Second variety is the mid shaft variety, which is in the mid of the shaft. And the third variety is the penoscrotal variety. Penis frotal is at the base of the penis. So we uh, uh, these different varieties which are given here, they are named according to the position, but usually we have three common types, the glandular, uh, the mid shaft, and the penis crotal, and they're more easy for you to remember. Just uh, don't go into the detail of each and every one. Now, approximately one in 250 live uh, male births, uh, we find these hypospadias, and majority are distal hy hypospadias. Distal means they are more close to the glans penis and they are um, having a very good uh, outcome. The more they are proximal, the worse will be the outcome. And second, uh, they are more distal means you can offer one single stage procedure and you can uh, manage the thing if, uh, as such uh, by just one procedure. But if it is more proximal means you have to make it uh, in two stages to bring the opening from that uh, proximal part to the distal area to the near the glans penis or, or to the glans penis so you have to be uh, uh, you have to um, devise your surgery or devise your uh, uh, procedure depending on the location of that urethral opening so uh, a distal opening as their uh, majority uh, in um, majority of the cases these are distal they are good to operate while the proximal you have to make a stage staged procedures one uh, one um, uh, stage is not enough for these it can be familial and it can be in twins uh, more common in twins most of these are found on uh, newborn uh, physical examination while some are diagnosed when uh, circumcision is planned for these now keep one thing in mind don't uh, circumcise these patients uh, why because circumcision uh, will what we do in circumcision we cut the foreskin we cut the extra foreskin that is over covering the glands but uh, here what we are having in these cases that we are having a deficient skin on the ventral aspect and we want to use that deficient uh, we want to use that foreskin which is uh, we are cutting on the circumcision we use that foreskin and we use it to make a new urethra. We uh, create a new urethra with the help of these uh, uh, uncircumcised foreskin. 
So no routine imaging is needed for these isolated cases. Uh, imaging is needed if you are suspecting uh, conditions, uh, uh, this hypospadia is to be part of a, a spectrum of diseases. Uh, there may be associated uh, micro penis, uh, uh, a small size of the penis, may the location may be uh, uh, different. Uh, you may have hernias, hydrocele, or uh, undescended testes also. The testes may not be in its uh, normal position. So beware that uh, the patient may have uh, uh, undescended testes. Identify where is the problem, uh, where is the testes located, and second, do not circumcise these infants. Keep their skin safe uh, for the repair. When we will do the repair, we will circumcise them also with that. But uh, at, at that point, when you are just notice it the first time that the patient is also having hypospadias, keep uh, uh, the patient uncircumcised and uh, plan for the circumcision while you do the repair procedure. Uh, it is usually done at six to 12 months of age and we can do it one or two stages. Uh, in one stage procedure, we just uh, make a tunnel uh, we make a tunnel of the skin and uh, we uh, um, connect that tunnel to the uh, urethral opening and we pass a catheter to keep it uh, intact so that it does not collapse and does not uh, get fibrosed. We uh, pass a uh, catheter through it. This is uh, more proximal means just uh, more distal means just one stage procedure but if it is proximal then what we have to do if it is more proximal, we have to make uh, one or two uh, um, operations for this. We have to do staged operation, one operation in uh, which it, we move, move it a little uh, distal. And we need another stage, uh, another procedure in which we um, uh, bring it to the normal position. Usually for more proximal things, we cannot operate at once to bring the urethra from its abnormal position to the normal position. So uh, we do it in steps. First step at one time and then uh, gradual, in the gradual steps, we bring uh, it back to its normal position. Uh, so it's all about uh, uh, the congenital anomaly that we may find in uh, the interurinary system. Uh, it's finished now, any question? I will start renal, uh, uh, renal colic, just some details of renal colic. So any questions?